My name is Michael Noonan. I'm a pharmacist by trade. I originally volunteered in Solomon Islands from 2007 until the end of 2009 as the chief pharmacist. When I look back, um, it's kind of laughable how little I knew when I started that role and, and how naive I was about a whole range of things. I was very, very lucky to have a number of uh, mentors um, to, to help me. In work, he brings the standard and he brings the uh, um, capacity with him and the vision and ensures that we uh, look at the opportunities that we have. The first time I met Willy Hiroto was in late 2007. I was 24 years old and he didn't know me from a bar of soap and he was very, very polite, but he could tell that I didn't have any idea what I was talking about. He has been incredibly warm to me over the years, um, an incredible mentor and he's taught me um, a huge number of things. Not just technical skills, although obviously um, I've, I've learned a huge amount from him, but um, as I say, some of, those, some of those softer skills, the interpersonal skills, the patience that you need to have in development, the calmness that he brings to, um, to a situation. Knowing him, I think, uh, uh, has inspired me. He is uh, like a, a very best friend or a brother to me. After he left, and I have my last book, I hope it's my last book, so I actually uh, named him after him, Michael. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy, and our eldest son, Will, is, is named after him, and we're really, really proud of that. I drifted, I guess, in Solomon Islands into more health supply chain strengthening and, and health system strengthening. Uh, we then started to pyre uh, as a project to bring data together, initially to help us run health supply chains. In February 2018, Cyclone Gita hit Tonga. Um, and we happened to have, have done baseline mapping in Tonga and, and um, Tupai was up and running there. And within about 72 hours, we had information from all the facilities in the affected area. And we were able to show on Tupai in, in real time a before and after snapshot of health services. It was made available to a whole variety of teams really, really quickly. People could see the benefit of it. Um, even if this was just a disaster response tool, it would be a, a super useful thing. What would I say to people considering volunteering? I would say do it. The number of people that I have spoken to over the years who have been considering it, they're weighing it up, they're waiting for the time to be right. The time will never be right. Just do it. Make the decision and take the steps that you need to do that. Being a volunteer really shaped my professional life. It shaped my personal life too. It, it gave me an incredible perspective on, um, on the way the world works what's important and, and from a professional perspective you know the most important thing is, is those um, personal relationships and it's those Solomon Islands that, that taught me that and, and I've used that in every single other job that, that I've had.